We are back on your Steamboat Today morning show. We're speaking with Ron Crawl, owner of Off the Beaten Path Bookstores. Both of them. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for trudging through the, the snow. Where did that come from? It, it is really pouring right it now. It is. I mean, really. And it's perfect because I brought a couple of books that are all about snow. Oh, good. Okay. So, you know, it it was it was perfect timing for today. Perfect. They, yeah. You just knew something was happening, I don't know. right? Yeah. I, you know. Uh, on Sunday, we had a, a breakfast in the books yeah. um, at the bookstore where we empty out the floor of the bookstore and we drop down a big screen and we invite uh, one to three authors to join us via Skype and they're life-size projections and we have really, really wonderful conversations with them. They both had a great time and I brought their books in because uh, I kind of wanted to recapitulate uh, uh, these books because I think they're really really good books for this time of year and in this environment of snow so you know in some ways this may be repetitive but uh, A Reliable Wife by Robert Gulrich um, you know this book starts with I think one of the you know I, I, we've talked about this before yeah I love first sentences I know. yeah um, so it was bitter cold the air electric with all that had not happened yet Whoa. I mean, that is. That's good stuff. That tells you something is about to happen. Yes. And a reliable wife opens with a kind of snowstorm that's happening right now. Really? So okay. it's uh, the, the opening scene is, is the main male character of the book standing at a train station as a blizzard arrives. It's dark and foreboding and cold and blustery and the train that he's waiting for is late. Okay. And um, the snow in the book sets this backdrop or this tone for the book that is mysterious and dark and kind of frightening and bleak and, and uh, you know, it just, that's what snow does in this story. Okay, all right. Not and what it's going to do here today. Just no. it's just a novel, people. Right. Okay. <laughs> this would today, be, today's snow here today's is going to be, you know, nice. set the wonderful. base for a wonderful. <laughs> it's actually going to set the base for for what snow does in this story. Okay. So this is the snow child. I remember you talking A1 about this one Ivy. too. Yeah. And here, the snow is magical. It it's creative. It gives birth. It. Uh, so this is based on on the. Um, the fairy tale of two, uh, a couple who have been unable to have children and they go and they make a snow child uh, and uh, the next day a real child appears. Uh -huh. And Eowyn has uh, created a really magical story uh, from that fairy tale. Um, and snow in, in this book uh, where, in, where in Robert Gulrich's book it's so dark and kind of, you know, mysterious and bleak, snow here is just magical. And you know how when, when snow falls and light hits it and, it, and, it, and it's kind of like diamonds yes. in, the, in the sun? That's what the snow child That's is. That's the snow, okay, the it's, snow it's child. It's a beautiful story. Excellent. And while people may have missed our breakfast in the books, we've got the books. Okay. And they're really wonderful reads. Excellent. Uh, they're, both, they're both great. That is reads. such a great idea, such a, a creative idea that you have to have that in, in the bookstore and have them right there, <coughs> life size, be able to talk. And do they do some readings from yes, the book as well? Yes, yeah. And uh, Robert read uh, a, a you know, short section of his book. We didn't. We didn't ask Eowyn to read, but uh, she talked a lot about um, the, the kind of joy of, um, I, she came across the fairy tale and, and it just kind of grabbed her and she knew that it was a story she could tell um, and tell in a, you know, a really rich way. Um, and she's managed to tell it in a way that preserves the, the sense of a fairy tale. Fairy tales, you know, often leave you uncertain about what's really happened. And, and the snow child, people who read it argue about, you know, what really happened yeah. here? Is this real? Is it magical? Was the person 
So it's it's so right. it's right. fun. Both are available at Off the Beaten Path Bookstore, located downtown, also in the Sheridan, up on the mountain. Right. Two convenient locations for your pleasure. We'll look forward to more of these Sunday breakfasts with the yeah, authors. Yeah, the next one's on March 26th. We're talking to authors now, so maybe by next week, uh, I'll be able to to give people a preview of what okay. we're going to be doing on March 26th. But mark it off on the calendar. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to get crowded, I think. Yes. And, and it's a great idea. When, if really, I'm ever really in fun. town, I'm going to come. <laughs> I'm going to come to one of these. I promise you. Yeah. Ron, nice to see you this morning. We're going to let you go forth into the world and Thank and you. trudge back through. We have a real quick. Uh, yeah. uh, just uh, Steve Cortez, who's a CNBC uh, commentator on the uh, on uh, investing, is going to be at the bookstore two to four on Saturday. Okay. Signing his books. He's a contrarian investor. Um, you might see him on television from time to time. So come and meet him. Okay. Um, Mike Palooch might like that. He's yeah. into numbers and money. Yeah. So it, it should be a <laughs> fun, fun afternoon Saturday. Okay. Sounds good. Two to four at the bookstore downtown. Downtown. Got it. All right, Ron. Nice to see you this morning. Thank you. All right. Make sure you go down and visit with them at Off the Beaten Path Bookstores. Two locations. We'll be right back with more Steamboat today.